Good morning, folks. We're starting with a serious gas bridge in space. The size, the length, the mass, and the location are baffling everyone except the new electric universe theorists. It's a good read, folks. Next, the solar polar magnetic field reversal has been taking forever, but we may be seeing the completion as the north field hit neutral again. Remember, it must be positive this coming cycle. We got a good one from No Trick Zone. The original post in German is available too, but the English summary details some of that censorship and lack of scientific integrity we were discussing in last night's video. Also, since we had about our 15th Earth Spot quake yesterday in Hawaii, someone said we should remind everyone of the initial speculation that storms could cause quakes. This is a good article, but since then the mechanisms and breadth and connection with Earth Spots has come quite a ways. So yesterday's sun diving comet coincidentally came in to hit the corona around the time Mercury geocentrically conjoined the sun. We got a perfect halo CME released. It was a faint one, but certainly a halo. Here is where stereo is helpful. Both A and B show it to be a backside eruption, perfectly on the opposite side of the sun from Earth. It'll be a shame if we indeed lose those two satellites. For today, their job is done, and Enlil confirms the blast heading away from Earth. A long, currently impacting southern Japan. Just to the south, our lone story is one weak convergence line over southern Australia. The central Pacific is less intense as Genevieve wanders around, Isel weakened, and Julio should miss Hawaii to the north. The heat and moisture flow into the central U.S. will get caught in a low-pressure helix tonight, Cause some severe weather in Kansas and Nebraska, maybe Colorado too. We have a well-defined convergence swinging back to eastern South America and bringing flood warnings with it. Lastly, we see Bertha approaching Europe, but the strongest system definitively here between the UK and the main continent. Cloud water shows what it's got up its sleeve for tonight. Folks, we will continue to see this bunching of the solar wind particles. As the sun weakens, the solar wind and heliospheric pressure diminish and can't clear the particles well enough, so they bunch up. If this gets much worse, we could actually see geomagnetic disruption during space weather quiet. That'd be a bad day. Anywho, so far, nothing of the sort. Low speed is keeping our magnetic shield calm and in order. The solar flaring, of course, has been signaling the solar snooze for a couple years now. Even with spots on the disk, the magnetic mixing is not really there, but for the tiny spots that fade by the hour, and the flaring coming from them has been decidedly below average. That one tiny equatorial coronal hole opening actually gained a touch of power overnight. We weren't expecting that. Hopefully not enough to re-ramp the earthquakes, but it's something to monitor with the whole earth facing today. Mercury having just conjoined the sun and the supermoon on our doorstep. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.